Yo, what's good, world? It's your boy Gio, man. I'm back with another one, man. This one right here, man. It's gonna be a little crazy topic, man. It's about an Arkansas rapper, man. Bankroll Freddy, man. They saying that you know he was uh first signed to Gucci, man. Uh, you know, in his early times of his rising up, man, into the hip hop industry, man. And then uh then he transitioned to uh. QC, which is P and uh, Coach K, you know, like with the Migos and all of them that signed to Lil Yachty and all of them. So he was with uh, QC and, uh, you know, he's a rising rapper, man. You know, I've seen him in Diddy videos and all kind of stuff, man. You know, a lot of love was getting talked about him, man. And everybody's saying he's one of the realest, man. But your boy just got hit hard, man. He got some charges, man. He got... I think he got pulled over. Y'all are seeing the clip, man. This dude got hit with some trafficking charges, man. Possessions of pew pews, uh, some some D, you know. So they saying that he got a total of. Let me let me make sure I get this right. I think he getting fifteen years. They saying he got fifteen years for this, man. Um, this is crazy, man. They saying that uh, that, well, he got twelve point five years. After being convicted, uh, so it's a yeah, some smoke possession and distribution, possession and distribution of controlled substance, firearm possession, and furtherance of drug trafficking, using a communications facility for the trafficking crimes, crimes of the drugs. So yeah, man, this dude, he just done got hit, man. Uh, he gonna do twelve point five or or more, man, and uh, it's a sad situation, man. There's so many guys that's, that's going in, man, like Lil Dirt, for an example, Young Boy, you know, YFN and Lunatry, you know, the Young Thug just got released. I mean, man, there's so many people that's going in, and like Cat Williams said, man, 2024 is going to be mysterious for a lot of things, man, and we just got to hope the best, man, but uh, yeah, man, for all y'all that's, you know, got to get this update too, man, your boy is uh they got locked up man they done called him again man i seen some other clips and stuff of him getting into a lot of mess and it's like man we gotta do better if you you know you you, you say you know you're getting this bread and stuff like that man you gotta stay out the way man you gotta move more better man it, it, you ain't got no room for error i mean if you, you know if you get caught with any of that stuff you gone so it's like what, what we doing man we gotta do better on this man and, and, and really and really take heed man it's a sad situation man it's a young dude man that's about to do some time he's still gonna be decent age when he get out but he's gonna miss a lot man and hopefully he can keep his nose clean in there man and when he get out man it's gonna be a lot better for him man you know so i had to give y'all this update man it just came in man it's something live and direct man on the breaking news man you know uh for the arkansas rapper man you know um Y'all hit down in the comments after y'all check this one out, man. Let me know what y'all think on this whole entire situation, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. Run me up, man. Run this up for me, man. Let's keep it going. Uh, let me know what y'all think, man. Like I said, get back at me, man. I'm going to see y'all on the next one, man. I'm out. I'm sure you've heard the news. Bankroll Freddy has been sentenced. Let's get into the details. Bankroll Freddy, known for hits like Drip Like Dis and Rich Off Grass, is facing over a decade behind bars. The rapper was found guilty of serious charges, including drug trafficking and illegal firearm possession. In court, the judge handed down a sentence of more than 10 years. This isn't just a blow to Freddie but also to his fans and the rap community. Freddie's legal team plans to appeal but for now he's set to serve time. What does this mean for his music and career? Only time will tell. So what do you think about this shocking turn of events? Rapper Bankroll Freddie was in an Arkansas jail Friday after being arrested on federal drug and weapons charges, officials said. The 27-year-old performer, known offstage as Freddie Gladney of Conway, was arrested about 6.30 p.m. on Thursday during a traffic stop uh, for speeding on Interstate 55 in Marion, Arkansas, almost 20 miles from Memphis, Tennessee, according to the state police. A search in his pickup truck yielded a gun, 21 pounds of marijuana, and 171 grams of prescription sedative permethazine, said the Arkansas State Police spokesman Bill. 
Bill Sadler. Freddie was booked in the Crittenden County Detention Center on state and drug and weapons charges and held for the FBI for equivalent federal charges. Jail records list no attorney on file for bankroll at this time. Let's pray for him. Let's pray.
playing here, man. Bro, can you see the, uh, can they see you? Yeah, they can see me. Hold it back. What's happening? Yo, man. What's up with y'all, man? What's happening? Hey, man. We on the way, man. They can't stop guys playing, bro. We going for the appeal. You hear me? Early in the morning. Action. Hey, uh, Jimmy. What's up? Damn, I can't see the comments. Hold on. You see you can't see the comments? Right quick. Hell, yeah, nah. Go back. You had to back the camera up. See you now. Oh, yeah, there we go right there. They can't stop guys playing. Hey, we ain't worried about it. We good. Hey, man, y'all know what's up, man. I love y'all, man. I love all my fans, my support of my family. All the real, you know. Hey, man, I'll be back soon, man. Hey, God got this, man. God is in control. You hear me? We got to sit back and watch him work. It's all good. Freddie learned his fate. Bankroll Freddy finally received his prison sentence following his conviction on multiple charges including drug trafficking and firearm possession back in May. According to FBI officials in Little Rock, Arkansas, he received a sentence of 12 and a half years, although it's unclear which of the Department of Justice outlined charges this sentence is for. The rapper's conviction was for charges of on count of possessing and distributing a controlled substance, one count of marijuana possession and distribution one count of gun possession to further drug trafficking, and one count of furthering drug trafficking crimes through a communications facility. However, the court also acquitted Bankroll Freddy on various charges, including one count of machine gun possession and other charges in the original indictment against him. This legal action stemmed from a massive drug and gun bust in 2022 that also involved his father and many other arrested individuals. At press time, there isn't much more information about this sentence, Freddie's situation, or the other charges that the court acquitted him for. While things could certainly be worse for him, this 12 and a half year sentence is nothing to dismiss. For those unaware, this whole bankroll Freddie situation also seriously implicated and caught up a couple of members of his immediate family. Per Arkansas Online, the court denied Freddie's father, Freddie Gladney, his bond earlier in February. Law enforcement reportedly caught Gladney discussing drugs and weapons with three of his sons, plus arranging sales of contraband with his daughter, via wiretap conversations. As such, all these individuals emerged as co-defendants in this case. Still, not much else has emerged concerning these other co-defendants outside of the family apart from the public updates on the Arkansas MC, so there is still some digging to do. Meanwhile, Fans wonder whether or not bankroll Freddy got his jewelry back, which he requested shortly after his arrest. Considering the sentence, and the heaviness of much of the original indictment against him and many others, it doesn't seem like a likely outcome. Nevertheless, perhaps the near future will provide us with some more updates and developments in this case that could illuminate the situation further. Bankroll probably one of the realest niggas I met in the industry. For real? Yeah, he really, he treat like, we locked in and you'll really treat it like a real relationship. Like it ain't just for money or social media and shit like that. You'll really fuck with me. Like you used to check on me and all that type of shit. I had really fuck with you. Real. Y'all see him. Bankroll ready. Bankroll.